fun. <laughs> Jake Little Paint's fun. It's just so magical. Black light is not something that you experience on a daily basis, and it really is just a little bit of magic, and we could all use that joy in our life. Dayglow, it, it's everywhere. If you, if you look around, safety vests, Tide detergent bottles, clothing, sneakers, traffic cones, hard hats, all sorts of apparel, printed materials. You don't realize it until you start looking around and see all these bright colors. That's, that's mostly day glow. I like that for the artists, it gives them an opportunity to experiment and work with a paint that they might not be familiar with, a medium you know that might be a little outside their comfort zone. It's a hard paint to use as an artist because you don't have white and so you really have to adjust and you know some artists they sort of made a name for themselves with a particular kind of artwork and this show gives them a way to sort of step outside of that box and play around a little bit um, which is nice. We are actually a Cleveland based company that was started in Cleveland, Ohio. We supply pigments and dyes for all manner of plastics, packaging, printing, cosmetics, uh, all, all sorts of industries. So. Dayglow was really came to Cleveland as an art project. The Switzer brothers who founded the company. They were experimenting around with fluorescent materials or they started doing magic shows uh, and, and then eventually it turned into printing materials doing posters advertising for Warner Brothers, uh, which was the way that you advertised movies at the time. They moved to Cleveland in the late 1930s to print movie posters for a company called Continental Lithograph. So that's why they ended up in Cleveland, Ohio. It eventually turned into the Switzer Brothers, which was the fluorescent company, up until 1969, in which they rebranded it as Dayglow Color Corporation. I love that this art show speaks back to those roots of the um, art that the company started with. Yeah, we've supported artists in the Cleveland community for many years. It's a fun medium, I think. People can make creative things with it. You can play around with the, the color themselves, but they're also black light fluorescent, so you can, you can, you can color them with UV lights. There's been art created with Dayglow for, you know, since the company's probably been around. So. There's a lot of different styles of artwork in the show, and so I think it shows the public how this paint can get used in a lot of different ways. And then we also give people the opportunity to create themselves by painting on our community wall, and we'll be doing workshops. I am originally from Erie, Pennsylvania, and that's currently where I live. Being an Erie person, Cleveland is a city that I was very excited about, and so I recently had an exhibition here. Now I'm here as the artist in residence for the Day Glow, and it's been an interesting kind of point of history. I'm still learning a lot about um, the Day Glow paint and, you know, experimenting with it, but it's exciting. This specific artist in residence, I'll be here on the weekends and inviting people to make with me and I'm inviting them to make a bug. Thinking about my practice, I ask people to reflect on a time that they felt squashed like a bug and when was something that gave them wings to keep going and then they get to create and the tables in here will be set up as a maker space and we'll be getting to use the Dago planes to paint and they'll be able to decorate and design their own bug. <laughs> the bugs that are donated to me and the archive that I'm growing will be a part of a further exhibition but they'll also be um, quilted and finished here and then put up in the space. The collection and archive that I have will become a swarm or a mass that'll become this swarm of resilience.
Eric's work is very generous and it is not only healing for himself, which sometimes you see in an artist's work, but also feels like it is extending that hand to other people and in, um, asking them about their own need to reflect on their strengths and kind of what gets them through a difficult time. I appreciate this show because it has two parts. Um, it has the community arts aspect as well as the professional gallery. So seeing a wide skill set can help educate more people on the material, which is why we're all here, which is nice. I love to see the artwork. It's very fun to get artwork coming into your gallery. It's almost like Christmas morning. You're <laughs> getting to see what um, people have made. But then I just, I love the community aspect of it. I just love seeing, you know, little kids and just everybody um, in the space enjoying themselves. The artists really love that Dayglow is our company, you know, and feel very proud of that. So you could, you know, use other fluorescent paint, but the artists, part of the reason they really want to be in the show is that Dayglow donates the paint to us. They can use it even beyond what they've made for the show, so it allows them to kind of experiment with other work. But I think people really love that Dayglow is our Cleveland company. <laughs>